Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and I'm super excited to show you this little gadget here today. It is called a Pring Cube. There's no T. It's a handheld mobile color printer. And like I said, I'm super excited about this. If you're more towards the creative side or have kids that you need to label every single thing, you could do it with this. So let's check it out. I want to thank the guys over at Print Cube for sending me over this unit to review. I'm enjoying every single minute of it as I'm using it. Also, I'm finding almost any surface that I want to, you know, label. I'm trying to label everything with it. I'll leave all the links in the description below to where you can get your unit as well. But yeah, let's let's dive into it. So first, you get this little box or thingamajig, which is the Print Cube itself. It's actually very simple. Um, small it could probably fit in i throw this in my backpack so yeah it fits almost anywhere now on the outside you do have two lights on top and a button then on the back you have the usb type c and then a little another opening for the bottom panel now if you open up the bottom panel this is actually held on by magnets and i gotta say um to be honest i don't really like this magnet because when I threw it in my backpack, it has the decency of you know falling off and then now you're exposed to the print head. So I, if you're gonna throw this somewhere where it like flops around, use a rubber band to hold it tight. But otherwise, so it does have this little rubber thing so it doesn't dry up your print head and also comes with this little doodad on the bottom. And that's to actually clean the print head itself. You can slide this out and it's got a little thing that you can pull out the whole thing. And yeah, you can print the, uh, you could clean the print head in case you probably got some lint stuck in there or something. Now, looking at the bottom of this guy, you have the printer cartridge itself, two rollers, an optical sensor in the middle, uh, and then two buttons, one to turn on the unit and the other one to open up the lid up on top so you could replace the ink cartridge. This guy has a battery life of six hours of runtime and a year shelf life. So if you charge it once, it could sit on your shelf for a year and you could still use it. Uh, you can print about 416 pages or 415 pages with this HP cartridge. I believe this is an HP OfficeJet uh, 5746. I believe that's what it is. I'll leave it right here. And yeah, that's, that's the whole unit. Now what else it comes with is USB-C cable and this little other doodad. I'm going to call it a doodad again, which is a clip for the printer head. If you decide to use this, I think on non-even surfaces like fabric or skin and yeah you could actually tattoo your skin with this with the proper ink and also comes with these little black index cards now if you take a look at it you could see that it has like these two lines on it it helps as a guide for the rollers on the bottom to straighten out your print so if you're using this and you're having a hard time on specific surfaces to make it straight you could use these cards also helps out with the optical sensor that's on the bottom so in case you're printing on a clear material like glass you need that optical sensor to work you would use this little black index card so yeah like i said i'm having a lot of fun using this i'm practically labeling everything my son has his drink his lunchbox his forehead and anything like anything i could label my toolbox i've been labeling with this and it works on almost any surfaces i haven't found a problem with it i even was able to label my black laptop matted black laptop and i mean it prints on that surface you don't see it very clearly but you can still print on that surface now to get into how intuitive this is because I really didn't go through a crazy amount of instructions on how to get this up and going because I really want to test out how certain how intuitive certain things are. What I did like is that it's not app specific, meaning you don't have to specifically download an Android app or an iPhone app to get this working. It actually runs off a web server or web browser in this unit itself. First, you would have to turn it on and it's going to do its own little self test. I'll beep after five seconds. So to test this guy out, the first thing I needed to do was to connect to the print cube and going over to the wireless settings, Wi-Fi, you should see something that says print cube. As soon as you connect it, head over to the website 192.168.44.1. And like I said earlier, you don't have to use your mobile phone. You could actually use any mobile device like a laptop or something, which I find great because you're not like tied down to only using a mobile app. So we're gonna be testing out there you know, their template, which is the Pac-Man eating RBG little cubes. So I'm gonna hit print on this, come on. And as soon as it says, you know, 100% success, you are good. This has been transferred over 
And all you have to do now is just press the button. It's gonna show green and slide across the table. Uh, I did, I'm still learning on this. It's not perfect, but yeah, let me try this again. It's getting there, it's getting there. I feel like I need to clean the print head a little bit just to get the black back out. Let me try this. So I'm gonna use this little guy and kind of clean off the head because maybe I got something on there. Let's try this one more time. There you go. I did have something on there. So it comes out really neat. And their software is actually very easy to use. So if I wanted to go into home and add new, and you could add your own fonts, you could add your own images, you could actually do multi-line printing. Um, all I have to do is add text and type in, you know, Nova Spirit. Let's do that. And save that. It's gonna look really small on my phone, but when you go to print preview or you could edit what your print size is going to be over here by just zooming in, zooming in a little bit. And you see how that's a white border? Just move that over to your text and that's the size it's gonna be. That's literally the print head. And if you kind of shape it towards the font, it's gonna print that Nova Spirit as big as your print head will print. So I'm gonna do print, it's converting, sending that over, success. Now, if I press this again and slide it over, there you go, Nova Spirit. See, I, I still got a train on, you know, kind of printing. Now these little black things I use as guides. So if you're printing on a clear surface, something that can't use the optical sensor on the bottom of this uh, printer, you would need to use one of these. But I technically use this for the guide. You see how there's like a little bump? It helps me with the little rollers on the bottom, like I was saying earlier. And all you have to do is kind of like get into that groove and I feel for it. That's what I do, but I feel for it and you kind of feel it like stop. So that's when I print and it's gonna be as straight as possible. Again, I might have to clean the print head. I kept saying this again, it takes a little bit of getting used to, to how fast you can move. And obviously you don't always move your hands perfectly aside. So it's gonna like tilt a little, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's very easy to use. I, I, I have no problems with it. The app works perfectly fine. Um, I could edit and upload photos to it and it'll be able to print images that I want. Yeah, I really enjoyed using it. Anyway, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it up in the comments below. Again, I'll leave all the links in the description below to where you can get yours. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing, also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.